okay, what is life going to be like when we have declining world production, a growing world population, and growing world per capita demand for oil? What's going to happen? Well, I think the only thing you can say with some reasonable assurance is that prices are going to go up. And I think the, the recent price increases that we have seen for liquid petroleum are just a harbinger of this. That it's, it's on its way. Now, the price goes up and down. It's, again, a noisy system. It fluctuates. You know, there's a big hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico, takes out some of the production platforms. Price goes way up, and then production recovers and prices come back down. But it won't come back down to where it started. And it's on a rising trend, and I suspect you'll see this trend rising very, very rapidly uh, as we go past the peak. Archaeologists study civilizations that have disappeared. What's a major factor in the cause of those disappearances? One factor, it's not the only one, but one factor is they grew beyond the capacity of the surrounding country to supply them with food. And, you know, in olden days, you could maybe transport food however far a horse and wagon could travel in maybe a week, something like this. It might be a hundred miles, but not farther than that. The average item of food on our table today has traveled 1,500 miles from where it was produced. And the only reason that's possible is that petroleum is so cheap. So petroleum, as, and we have to ask now, what's going to happen as the world goes over the, the top peak and, and petroleum starts its inevitable decline, production decline towards zero? Modern agriculture is the use of land to convert petroleum into food. This isn't high-level mathematics. This isn't rocket science. This is just plain common sense, and it's universally rejected by the business community, the commercial community, the political communities.